What's up guys? How y'all doing today? I'm Justin Swanstrom. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. Just got off work. See my little work outfit. But uh, I had seen a bunch of people in the comment section uh, asking me to do a walkthrough of my trailer. I mean, I call it my garage. I have everything taken out of the trailer right now due to the fact that we are taking Aftermath apart and put it back together. But uh, so I thought I would just take a little bit of time and walk through the trailer, show y'all what all I have inside, where things are located what we do whenever we pull up to the track to get unloaded and uh try to just do a short little clip of just showing y'all the inside of my trailer look at these cylinder heads they're all cleaned up i'm gonna go ahead and put them on aftermath tonight get the top end of the motor all sealed but let me go ahead and take you up to the front it's a little bit dirty in here so don't judge this is where uh, there's two beds in here two of my guys sleep usually me and Mike we go get hotels I mean it's pretty nice in here all glass turn the lights on see a little better this is where my doors stay I don't keep doors on the car due to the fact that we got to steer them coming inside the trailer so I had to find a spot for them so there's no better spot than putting them on the bed safest place here once you get done with that got the bathroom just kind of smells in there shower it's kind of cold in there so this is basically where brian dennis or anybody that's helping us work at the track I can fit two people inside here. I fit three other people inside the, the tractor. And uh, me and Mike, we usually just go get hotels. While we're right here, here's the top deck. Uh, this is a 56 foot trailer, but uh, I have 40 foot of floor space up here. Like right here is the wall and everything. That is where all the AC units are up top. Uh, the air compressor generators at the front of the trailer, but there's 40 foot of floor space. So I'm able to fit two of my cars inside here. My cars, I think, are like 17.8 or 18 foot long. So it is kind of tight, but we make it work. Come down the stairs. Nothing's really organized right now, but me and my guys, we try to keep everything organized because when you're at the racetrack, when you have to find something in a pinch, you got to make sure you're able to go inside the trailer and find it real quick. So if you look at all my cabinets, everything is labeled. You got batteries and charger, gloves, Plug scope, weather machine, your ANICs, your Loctite, WD-40, all your tools. See, I got nuts, washers, sockets, ratchets and extensions. It's a little bit messy in there, but come over to this side. Got the same thing. Got all my silicone, wrenches. That's my motor maintenance drawer. Everything inside this drawer goes to the motor. Anything that I need out there when I get to the racetrack, we come in here. I don't take it all out, but anything that I need to be able to do the motor, transmission, converter, is everything inside this door. Got your screwdrivers, hammers, everything. Here's your trailer accessories, anything that goes wrong with the trailer, it's all right here. It's your tape measure. So everything inside this trailer is labeled because whenever you do come up in here, you got to be able to find stuff easily. I mean, right here, I mean, I have spare motor right there, but I, I didn't put one in here. But this is where I keep my transmissions, a converter, there's jack, two turbo 400s, in case we break something at the track. This right here is my suspension drawer, cabinet, whatever you want to say. Got all my shocks, and then I got my rear gears. I think there's a converter in there too, but there's one, two, three, four, five rear gears. We do a lot of testing and changing rear gears. But like I said, everything is labeled. See, this is all fluid cabinet. You got oil and transmission fluid, brake fluid, gear oil, every kind of fluid that I need to be able to work on the cars, the trailers, the tractor, everything is inside there. Cleaning supplies is this cabinet. Here's the motor tools that we would use whenever we get to working on the motor at the track. Hopefully nothing falls out.
my EFI electronics spark plugs it's all electronic wise got spark plugs I got spark plugs for days here's another engine drawer this is a I got two different motors so here's all Pat Musi's stuff for his engines everything right here got belts in case I break something we got a head gasket another braille battery push rods uh, here's a rag drawer, but I have now switched it over to the rare Morrison because like I said I got two different motors So I put rods pistons everything so you can see the spare head is up there We keep a freezer due to the fact that we have to uh, freeze our bottles at the racetrack to fill them up with nitrous That's an OG sticker right there Over here is the same thing just rags extension cords Here's Big Daddy's drawer. That's Brian. That's the big bearded guy I'd be showing y'all. He's got his own cabinet. You can see he's kind of messy. Got nitrous bottle rack. I do got two more bottles that go inside there. We run all carbon fiber bottles. Here's our fill station. Coming through here. Got the nitrous jets. With all them jets inside there everything we need if i need to switch something out funnels and drain pans but like i said everything inside here is labeled because when we're at the track it don't matter if we're in a pinch or not you got to be able to come in here and find stuff don't let me forget y'all this is the fridge my favorite spot of this trailer is the fridge come in here I usually keep a stack with red bull gatorade mick ultra a lot of that. There's a spare head. It's getting sent off to Rare Morrison. Putting these two heads back together. You got the microwave because you know we can't skip a meal. Look, I'm getting kind of fat, guys. Let me move this. This is all our radio headset. We try to keep everything organized. At least Brian does. There's times where we're very tired at the end of the at the end of the race and uh brian he stays up late and he organizes the trailer me and him sometimes we'll we'll go up all night to make sure everything is right so here's the og helmet i just bought a new helmet guys so i went ahead and uh retired this one i'm gonna hang it up i've had this helmet for shit five six years and god we trust Alright guys, so it's kind of hot in here and I'm kind of fat so the two and two don't go together But I know it's pretty fast walkthrough, but I just wanted to show everybody the inside of the trailer Where stuff is located what we got to do and all that to be ready whenever we get to the track uh, It's a 56 foot trailer. It's got 40 foot of floor space up top to be able to fit two cars If you do have a smaller car You can uh, probably fit more in there probably a couple smart cars up there, but uh the kind of cars that I have when we race, we're able to fit two cars up top. You can fit a third car back there, but that's where my golf cart and everything goes, so we do not haul three cars. Mm -hmm. 